Hello, happy kids. Miss Patton here. Today we are going to continue working on the letter T, and today we're going to be talking about the lowercase T, which is this one right there. All right, let's go ahead and do our three steps. First, we say the letter's name. Then we say the picture's name. And last, we make our sound. So here we go. Get your finger out. T, top. Let's do it again. T, top, t, t. And I remember T is a quick and quiet sound. We do not hold the sound. We just make it quick and quiet. T, t. Can you make the letter sound? T. Nice job, the kid. All right, let's go ahead and share our screen and we'll talk about our lowercase t today and how we make it. So I see our lowercase t and our capital T look very similar, but there are some things that are different. What is different between your capital and your lowercase t? It's the pull across. So I see on the capital T, our pull across is on the top line, and on our lowercase t, it's here on the dotted line. So when I make my T, I'm going to touch, pull down the dotted line and pull across. And just like when I'm making my capital T, touch, pull down. I'm not going to start right here with my pull across. I'm going to move over a little bit. Pull across. Sometimes people also make their lowercase t touching the top line like this. Touch, pull down, pull across. That is fine with me too. Either one. They both look like a lowercase t as long as they're nice and neat. Touch, pull down, pull across. Remember, you can also practice your sound while you're practicing your writing. Ch, 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 ch. I like it when you do nice, neat work. Remember, if we're going like this, it looks messy and it's hard to read. That is not our best work. So if we do something like that, we need to erase. Take a deep breath and slow down. This is not a race. This is about doing nice work. All right, the kids, I'm gonna go ahead and get my blue folder so we can talk about that. And we'll go ahead and stop sharing. All right, so you need to go ahead and do your lowercase t's for today. And then what I thought next is we can talk about our pictures and decide, does this one stay or not? Does it have the t sound or should we give it a red X? So let's see what pictures we have here. We have a picture, uh, oh, let's read the directions. Color the pictures that begin with the T sound. What sound does T make? T. All right, so our first one here is a pencil. A pencil. Will we color the pencil? What's the first sound in pencil? Pa, pa. All right, next one is a top. Would we color our top? Sure would. Top begins with a t sound. The next one we have here is a turkey. What's the first sound in turkey? T, t. So that's another one that we can color. Maybe to help us remember this because let's see, we can get out your red crayon and do the same if you would like to with me, but this one did not start with a t sound. So I'm putting a red X on it, so no, not to color it. But top 
and turkey do start with a t sound. The next one, this one's sticky and it can help you fix things. It's called tape. It's the first sound tape. T, t. So what do we color it? Mm -hmm. So let's leave it. Next one's a dinosaur, but it's a special kind of dinosaur. It's called a T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's the first sound. T. So we're gonna leave him. And here we have um, this picture of a soccer ball. It's a game you can play. It's a soccer ball. First sound in soccer ball. Or what if we call it a ball? What's the first sound in ball? B, B. So are we gonna color this one? Does it have this sound? Nope. So we can get that one a red X. And that will help us remi remind ourselves not to color those two. Okay. All right, big kids, can't wait to see your nice, beautiful printing in your book. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Aloha.